Hi, my name is Abel, and I'm a cloud developer advocate specializing in DevOps. Visual Studio Team Services is the best DevOps solution into Azure. And now, with the general availability of Azure DevOps project, we make it so simple to go from nothing at all to a full end-to-end -end DevOps project in a variety of languages. And what's in this DevOps project? You get a team project in VSTS, code for a sample project in the language that you picked in the repo. You also get a CI CD pipeline that takes your sample code, builds it, and deploys it all the way into the infrastructure it provisions for you up in Azure. And you get all of this with just a couple of clicks. Now, we all know that containers, they're the hottest thing in our industry right now. And DevOps projects did not forget about containers. Let's go see how easy it is to go from nothing and create a container DevOps project for a .NET Node application. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new resource in Azure. And the resource that we want to create is a DevOps project. Now, the first thing it's going to ask is what language we want to use. Now, for this demo, we're going to choose a Node.js application. Now, let's go ahead and click on Next. And Next is going to ask us what framework do we want to use, Express, Sales, or a simple Node.js app. For this demo, let's go ahead and choose Express. And now, we'll choose Web App for Containers. Click on Next. And it's going to ask us, what instance of Visual Studio Team Services do you want to use? We can create a brand new one from here, or we can use an existing one. I'm going to go ahead and choose my demo account. So here's my demo account. And let's give this project a name. We'll call this Able Node Container. And we need to choose where are we going to deploy this. Since I live in Seattle, I'm going to choose the West Coast. I'll click on Done. And bam, that is all I need to do. Now I can just kick back. Azure is going to do its thing and build out for me this full end-to-end -end CI CD pipeline. Now, when it's all done building everything for me, I get a portal, and the portal looks something like this. Where on the left-hand side, I have deep links into the full CI CD pipeline. And on the right-hand side, I have links into all the resources that it created for me in Azure. Now, these links, these are deep links. So if I click on this master link, it's going to take me directly into the code repository in the Visual Studio Team Services project that it created for me. So as you can see, this is just my sample code for my Node.js application. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the builds so you can see what type of build we created for you. Now, what we did is we created a build pipeline that makes sense for the technology that you picked. So what we did is we created a build that makes sense for a Node.js application that's going to be turned into a Docker image. So we build the image, and then we push that image into Azure Container Registry. And when we're done doing that, we will go ahead and release it. And I'll show you the release pipeline that we have. Now, the release pipeline that we create, once again, is going to be a release pipeline that makes sense for the technology that you picked. So we create one dev environment, and when we deploy, since we're deploying this container into Azure App Service, we can do that very simply with one Deploy to Azure App Service tasks. So once it deploys, it deploys it as a container into Azure App Service. We can click on the application endpoint, and voila, bam, there's our app running in a container in Azure App Service. Now, there's nothing more for you to do. Everything just works. Everything is perfect. However, if you wanted to go in and customize your code or your build and release pipelines, you still have full control where you can go in and do whatever you need to. So if you jump into VSTS, remember, your code, this is just a Git repo. So there's nothing stopping you for cloning this repo onto your hard drive. And then you can just go ahead, change the code however you need to, upload this back into the repo, and then it will kick off the build and release. If you wanted to configure your build and release pipelines, not a problem. Remember, 
The build in VSTS, it's nothing more than just a task runner that does one task after another after another. So if you wanted to customize this build, all you need to do is just add or remove tasks in the order that you need it. And out of the box, there are hundreds of tasks that you can choose from. If what you want to do doesn't exist out of the box, that's not a problem. Go ahead and check out the marketplace. We're in the marketplace. Our partners have created over 500 build and release tasks that you can just drag onto the screen and start using. So as you can see, very simple to customize your build and release pipeline if you need to. However, out of the box, everything just works. Azure DevOps projects, they make creating your end-to-end -end DevOps pipelines into Azure incredibly simple. With a couple of clicks, everything just starts working. And yet, you still have full control over your CI CD pipelines to customize and configure it to do whatever you need. And now, with the GA of Azure DevOps Project, we support containers into Azure as well. If you need more information about Azure DevOps Project, go to docs.microsoft.com. Thank you.